very, very shameful. We shouldn't be talking about buying jets today. Viewers and subscribers, so welcome back again on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. Peter B and former Vice President Usibanjo, we are spotted somewhere in Chicago. And he sparked a lot of discussion, conversation, and argument. Declaring millions as their running costs. How do you feel this represents Nigeria on the international stage or on the international stage right now? How do you feel we're being represented by our leaders internationally? Very, very shameful. We shouldn't be talking about buying jets today with the level of poverty. We can be poverty capital of the world and be buying jets. It shouldn't be. Even when I'm still questioning, how much was the cost? We, we said we are replacing the old one. What is the age of the new one? Why did we need to replace the old one? What is it? If I wrong with it? For me, that shouldn't be. Every penny today should be directed about pulling people out of poverty, in health, in education. Because this is where we are lacking. These are development trajectories where we are lacking. When compared with similar countries that we are supposed to be at par with, we are low in human development, in education. Our health is worsening every day. Where we have even taken India in infant mortality. That's why the fact that I that people are hungry. They don't know where the next meal will come from. So every penny should be directed to that. And that's what I hear everywhere. I've been speaking to people from other countries who are talking, listening to the Prime Minister of Kosovo speak this morning in a meeting, listening to former Minister, uh, Prime Minister of Denmark speak. Everybody is talking about the people, the people, the, and the ordinary people. And you could see what I'm telling you about the ordinary people. Where chairman of the NC is son, a son of a single mom who was brought up by the grandparents. Similar to Obama. Everything. So we want to create a society where a child of nobody will rise up due to productivity and be somebody. Where people's talent and hard work will match up their opportunity in life. And the question is, among many Nigerians, these two people, if they were given a spot in APC and in PDP respectively at that time, Nigerians would have had an opportunity to choose from the two finest individuals that could run for the office of the president. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the two sides of the same coin in the name of APC and PDP denied Nigerians the opportunity to make this choice. And Peter Obi moved to Labour Party while Degaban, Degaban his way through APC primaries. And you know how that happened. Now to you, if the opportunity is presented to you among these two men, who will you go for? Let it continue on the comment section. Your opinion and if we are casting your vote, who would that be? Let's have this opinion as we continue to spread this message until the right people takes leadership positions. Not like vice president too, because you can imagine somebody like Professor Sibanjo being a VP to the monumental failure called Buhari. And that is the truth. Now, since after Buhari had left office, who had seen him in an important function among community of leaders internationally. But these two men, they were brought in as guest speakers in leadership forum, international leadership forum happening in Chicago. Where yeah, you can only see Bugari is where he's going to council meeting with Tinibu in Asorok to measure 
the level of failures now who fair pass well it's up to nigerians we'll continue this political sensitization and education creating this awareness to keep your consciousness up for the next election so that you don't make the mistake of ethnic bigotry and religious sentiment what's your take on it let the discussion continue between these two gentlemen who will you pen down your votes for if you have the opportunity i'm also Chiret peters the advocate for good governance and the leader ggm <laughs>